Um, so behind this um, plywood here, um, the women's bathroom is the source of one of our stories. So years ago, after a basketball game, a group of girls decided they'd go out and see a movie afterwards. And so they were all in the bathroom in here, you know, primping and prepping like girls do. And uh, by then the whole school had cleared out. They went out and got in their cars and one of the girls realized that she had left her perfume bottle on the bathroom sink. It was her favorite perfume and so she told the other girls to go on ahead and she'd meet them at the movies because she drove her own car. So she came in and sadly enough, a man broke the window, climbed in, and raped and killed her. And people who use the bathroom, especially late at night, say that they see her standing behind them in the mirror. And a lot of times you'll get a little whiff of flowery perfume. So um, one, one trio that was involved in, in the frequent partying was a girl and two boys who were best friends that were both madly in love with the girl. And one evening, they finally told her she'd had to pick between the two of them. And then she chose, obviously, the one that lost was a very sore lo loser. He was very upset. He pulled out a gun and shot the other kid. They were all concerned that they would be in, be in trouble for being under there. So they left, left his body, and never told anyone um, until they ended up getting the lake completely drained and found his body. Now the drain is completely sealed off and uh, no one can but people hate being in here when they have to be in here at night. They say that late at night they hear gunshots ricocheting around and it's supposedly the, the echoes of the kid who got shot. Mm. So, um, this happened, I think it's 2009 um, was the year. And for several months leading up to it, uh, the custodians had been finding evidence that someone was living there. They'd find stuff in the pit, you know, wrappers and water bottles. And then back behind the grate, um, they found a sleeping bag and um, candles and stuff. And you can access this, it's all the tunnel. I don't know, when I was in high school, they would, they, of course, they told, told us they were originally bunkers. And then people tell us that they were also tunnels to connect Grand Junction High School to Martin Mortuary across the street in case of an epidemic. <laughs> yeah, so they would use our school as storage of bodies in the case of, of some sort of epidemic. So anyway, in 2009, um, our one of our um, assistant principals came in um, in the morning early and actually smelled a weird smell when he came in from the office and walked down this hallway and we had had a flood where the boiler broke and flooded. Um, nickname, it's not really a morgue, it's where they well, put the, the morgue was completely underwater. Um, water here went into like the fourth or fifth row. Everything was flooded and um, they noticed that someone had tried to open the, the grate from the inside. Um, like they were trying oh, to get out. Oh they never found a body, no evidence of anyone living there. All that they found was a sleeping bag and a shoe after the floodwaters receded. So he is one of our ghosts that mm -hmm. supposedly haunts this area. <laughs>